Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bobby McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my first look at mini-series on Everspace. It's by Rockfish Games and released on September 14th, 2016 into Steam Early Access. That's right, this is an early access game, but it's a fantastic early access game. One that I am having an immense, uh, well, love affair with. Not really a love affair, but I'm having fun with it. I think it's great. We're going to turn all the volume down just a little bit more, and we're going to hop in and we're going to get started. I don't want to really talk up the game or talk down the game or explain it. We're just going to hop in and we're going to play. So, it being early access, there's not a whole lot that's going on. I mean, like, you don't have a lot of other choices right now. So, unfortunately, you're kind of limited to what's available. One particular fighter class right now, but you'll see. You'll see. There's stuff that we can do. Things that we can get. The hangar is not there. So, there's no upgrades. However, we do seem to have three perks available. Or something like that and we're gonna be able to use them I haven't actually looked at any of this stuff yet it does save your progress it's uh, kind of like a roguelike think of something like a, like a first person or a third person uh, flyer shooter space you know combat uh, thing but it's also kind of roguelike in like an FTL way you'll see what I'm talking about guys it's it's uh it's interesting all right weapons we don't have any of these things uh, what is the sensor sensor scanner Hull hit points, okay. What's this? Device slots. Uh, energy capacity, shield capacity. I'm gonna go with some shield capacity, I think. We can upgrade it. Oh, it costs money to do these things. Okay, what is this? Uh, unlocks critical hit. Requirements, device slots. So let's go here and upgrade this. Okay, didn't didn't I just do that? I thought I just did that. Device slots. Do I have to upgrade it or max it out all the way? Uh, the amount of different devices your ship can carry unlocks consumable slots and weapons. Uh, maybe I have to do something else. I don't know. I'm gonna upgrade it. I'll try to go all the way with it. Okay, we were able to get our primary weapon. The amount of different primary weapon systems your ship can carry. Lost critical hit chance and everything else. So we have to max that out before we can do that. Well, we're one out of three. I don't know what that's all about. Interesting. And what's this consumable slot? That's fine. I'm going to go with a shield, though. I'll go with at least one point into that. And then we're kind of broke at this point. Credit loot bonus. All right, so we're gonna play around with it, guys and gals. I don't have any, um, I don't know, precon preconceived notions of how long or how far this is gonna go, but we're gonna play around, have some fun with it. As long as it's fun, it's gonna be enjoyable, and I'm gonna need to okay, enjoy it. Okay, let's have another go at this. A dangerous criminal is nearby. There is a reward for eliminating him. Coordinates have been set in the map. All right, there is a dangerous criminal nearby. Coordinates have been set on the map, huh? Do we have a map? Star map. Is that what that is right there? Unknown risk. Are those? That's the mission. So, if we head there, do we do we have a choice on like where we go? I, I I don't I don't know. Well, it doesn't look like there's a lot that we can do here, but there's some stuff. So anyway, we fly around. So you move with W as forward. S is back, A is left, D is right. It's very, very, very well done. You look with the mouse, it's very responsive. You press space bar, you actually head up. If you press left control, you'll head down. If you press shift, you have your speed burst. Q and E will roll you. So like I said, it's very, very maneuverable. Works well with a keyboard and mouse. It probably would work really well. We have an enemy over here. All right, I think middle mouse is to lock on, and indeed it is. Now, keep in mind, I'm not very good at this. We have this could pulse, be a sticky situation we have here. The pulse laser here first. He's behind that. Looks like we may have some uh, allies helping out here. I'm not sure, but basically, what we're trying to do is take out his shield, and he took out our shield, and then we actually hit him with a missile, and I think we took him out. We did. Oh, but he's got a friend. 
And we need to avoid his friend at all costs. Now his friend just clipped us there. Yeah, he clipped us again. It's okay. We're going to hide behind this asteroid here. This chunk of rock, if you will. And he's going to get closer to us. But we're going to be able to annihilate him when we get there. And we see we can roll to get our Gatling gun. Our Gatling gun's good against actually what he has. He doesn't have any shields. It's going to be really good. See, we just annihilated him straight up. The drone could not handle the power. So, not bad. We survived our first combat. Got a little scraped up, but not too bad. A little bit of fuel here. We don't actually need any fuel, though, so... That's fine. Uh, we were heading toward something that we could mine. Yes, over here. So we're going to go to the mineable ore. We're going to use our pulse laser and just blast away at it. Chunks of stuff will start floating out. And it is going to be sweet, sweet, and nice. And that's it. The ore is fully mined. We can look around one more time. See if anything is out there in space. It's a beautiful game, guys and gals. I can't wait to see this when it's completely finished. And hopefully I get a little bit better at it. Because I'm, I'm actually quite bad. Alright, so if you're wondering what this green spiral thing is. It is uh, the way you actually go from A to B. I'm noticing a little bit of lag now that I'm recording, by the way. Um, I think it has to do with the recording software. But this is how you actually jump out. If you look at it, you will actually go into warp and jump to the next spot. So we're here. I don't want to go there. I want to go to this spot because this is where an enemy is. And we're going to give it a shot. We have some compound and other various things. I will uh, go. And we will jump there and hopefully we survive it. It's a dangerous criminal, so maybe this is a terrible mistake. I don't know for sure, but there he is. And oh, he's already engaging in something. He's actually fighting other guys. It's weird. A wanted NPC. Oh, looks like he's actually getting shot down. I'm thinking we're gonna maybe help him. You have drawn the attention of hostiles. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh my gosh, I'm so maneuverable. Some would say too maneuverable. Multiple hostiles incoming. All right, we took one out. Somebody right on top of me. I need to get out of his way first. Alright, and we need to get out of here. Because if we don't, we are going to end up dead. So we're going to try to do some evasive maneuvering here. It's kind of working. Alright, we, we got a little bit of space between us. And we'll get our shields up a little bit. And now it's time to go back into combat, into battle, and see what we can do here. And we took him out with a missile. Nice and simple. We got a, a credit. payment has been deposited with you by way of reward for your assistance. All right, and we apparently assisted enough in that that they liked what we did, and they were happy to oblige us. I'm gonna fire another missile. I'm hoping that we take out the shield in time. It's not looking good right now. Fire the missile again. It's not enough to take out the shield. Come on, there we go. Enough missile fire and we can finally get through it. It's all sweet, sweet, nice style and beautiful. So, six degrees of movement, six degrees of freedom, six degrees of I'm going to die and crash into everything. But it's still quite cool, guys and gals. So if you have never seen this game before, well, you should be in for a treat. Especially if you're into space, co oops, space combat fighter type games. This is one of the best I've seen in actually quite a while. I really enjoyed Rebel Galaxy, but you didn't really feel like you had a 100% of control of your ship. That was the one thing a lot of people complained, that it was more like a, a tugboat simulator or something like that. Where, you know, you just kind of drove around on the one plane and there was no up and down, so... It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized right. zone using and these hidden structures gotcha. to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth the risk. Maybe it's worth the risk. Is that is that what this is over here? All right. Well, we're not going to burn through all of our energy. Uh, nothing bad seems to be happening. Maybe it's something else. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. So many of them. 
I'm gonna get the Gatling gun going. Yes! I feel like a superhero now. I, I, I've had bad experiences playing this so far. I mean, like, I think the game's fantastic, but my skill level just isn't where I want it to be when I play, so it's been pretty much all bad. This has actually been my best run so far. Now, I've gone further in the jumps, but I haven't done as well. Oh, there's a plasma field. I don't know what that means exactly. I'm gonna head through it. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. That's yeah? convenient. Plasma's fully harvested. Cool. All right, we're gonna go and we're gonna hit tab here. And we're gonna go into repair. Is there anything we can repair? We have no nano... No. Uh, primary weapons... Is there any, any way to repair anything? I, I mean, I don't feel like we're, like, super critically wounded or anything. I thought there was a way to craft stuff, too. I don't remember how to do it, though. So my apologies for that, folks. Well, uh... Blueprints. Light missile, ship stats, challenges, equipment. Oh, yes, yeah, so we go under equipment. That's how we craft. What is this? We can build a new... Energy injector? What does that do? Instantly adds a small amount of energy to your core. It's kind of cool. Don't really want to do that, though. Uh, what's this? Do I want to remove that? No. Can't do anything there. We can build some more light missiles. I'll craft them. Fill back up. We can have a total of 20, so it's fine. Alright, I think we did most of what we could in this area. We've harvested the plasma. We shot down a pirate base and a bunch of other random stuff. Oh, there's a thing we can do over here for the ore. It could be too, my mouse might be too sensitive and I'm like oversteering like a crazy person. I would not put that past me. I'll try the Gatling gun, see if it's any more efficient. It doesn't look like it. Pulse laser seems cooler to me. Could be wrong though. Is that all the ore? I think so. Does it mean I can't keep shooting it? Yes! I want it all gone! Alright, so we've harvested everything out of there. And now we're going to head on to the next place. Good stuff. Compelling and rich. You don't even have to move. You just have to look 100% at that thing and it just starts the jump. Alright, well we're going to head here and it looks like the jump gate's over there. So, what's a posit... Oh, that's position. That's a positron. Ugh. I I've been I've been pretty uh, battered and bruised lately, guys and gals. I apologize. I've been doing a lot of stuff, and it has addled my brain. But, you know what? It's great. Oh, this place looks menacing. There's already a red dot on my map. Outlaw Scout. We have our Pulse Laser. Oh, there's another Outlaw Scout. This one's somewhat close. I kind of want to get closer to him. Take him out. There's something behind me, too, which makes me nervous. Uh-oh. Whoa, what are you? You too are an outlaw scout. And a dead one at that. That was not good. Alright, we got some nanobots out of that. That's pretty good. Alright, we have a lot of stuff that we can use for cover here, so that's not bad either. I'm gonna avoid, I'm gonna do a little bit of hit and run tactics right now. May even hide inside this little hole over here. I'm not sure yet. Alright, where's the enemy fighter? Did they all die? I feel like that can't be right. There we are. Come on, show me yourself. You're hiding too, trying to get your shields back up. Not gonna work. I say that, and then it worked. That would explain why the murdering of the turret wasn't working very well. Hey, there's some gel here, though. We'll take that, we'll take the scrap. Alright, what's that? An outlaw drone. Let's go take care of that. 
Well, this will we'll be able to pull quite a bit out of this. After all. Yeah, I honestly figured I'd already be dead by now and the episode would have ended. I was looking I was looking at this to be a very, very bad attempt for me. But you know what? I was willing to give it a shot, and like I said, I think these, this is a fantastic game. Definitely one worth showcasing, and definitely one you guys should give a chance. I can't wait to see the finished product, and I can't wait till my skills improve a little bit. I mean, I'm okay right now. Like, this is better than I was, but I'm definitely not the end-all, be-all when it comes to stuff. I like that the drones just sit there in a straight line and let me shoot them. That is my favorite type of uh, dogfighting. Alright, this is all very, very uh, interesting. Let's go over here to this thing and see if we can't gather some uh, resources from it. Alright, mineable fuel. I am a big fan of getting fuel. I imagine you all would be as well. We've mined all the fuel completely there. Come over here. Now the fuel is just for jumping from place to place. If you look in the top right, that is our fuel store. Mineable crystal. Okay. We're low on energy. You see in the, the middle reticule, the thing at the bottom, there's a little bar that's filling up. It's yellow and slowly getting bigger. That's our energy. It goes off of our, our not our dash, but our, um, our afterburners, our thrust, and our energy weapons, or our weapons in general. Oops, I hit the wrong button. This is a scan, by the way. I should show everything in the area on the map. So there's a container up there. I probably would have missed that. So let's head on up there and see what's in a said container. Oh, just a bunch of credits. Cool. And there's some more credits over here. There's a hull damage mod blueprint. I'll definitely take that. Some credits. What else? A tech container and some mineable crystal over here. A whole bunch of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, if you uh, want to randomly hit the wrong button every once in a while, sometimes it does pay off. Just saying, I can speak from experience. You guys have all witnessed it here for the very first time. Alright, we mined up all the crystal there, and we're gonna try- Oh! Don't hit stuff! Do not crash into things! You will regret it drastically, massively, and it will make you weep. Very, very sadly. It is super damaging. Do not hit things. You are acquiring a taste for cast-offs, by the looks of things. Alright, so plasma torpedoes. Now what we can do is get close enough to it and we can change it as our secondary weapon. We press F, we take a look. The light missiles, they do 50 hull damage, 20 shield damage. These do massively higher amounts of damage. We are swapping 100% for sure. And now we have plasma torpedoes as our right click attack. There's still plenty of stuff to be gathered out here. We have a mineable thing there, we have a mineable thing much closer. That's just the light missile. I, I don't care about that. Alright, we're gonna head over there. Now, we have this thing. If you look, it says Energized Boost. It's like super ultra afterburners. I'm gonna use it right here. It's super speed, but you have to be careful because you will crash into stuff when you're using that, and it will be very bad for you. I will take some mineable fuel, if you don't mind. It is quite the delicious fuel. We desperately need the fuel. We're at 94 and we fully mined the fuel. What do we have left? So there's a box there. There's two more boxes off to the right. I know wandering around and looting might not be the most exciting thing to do in the world, but you know what? It's a, well, it's kind of a requirement or a thing that you do all the time in roguelike games. And I consider this, I don't know if they consider this a roguelike uh, space combat exploration game, but I feel like it's definitely one of those. Oh, a beam laser. Okay, we can either get rid of our... It does a 40... This is a like a dead even one, so if you don't want to have to switch between your pulse laser and your gatling gun, you can just go straight down uh, the line with the uh, beam laser. However... Oh, oh I, can, I can't switch. Uh, 80 and 73, they both do their job better than this does. However, this also has better energy consumption. The pulse laser has a faster velocity and a much better range. Well, I, I say velocity. The velocity is the, the the 
how fast the unit, the bullet, the pulse in this case, travels. This is a laser beam. It doesn't have a vol velocity. It's just there or it's not. Um, but the range is 1600 on this, 1200 on the Gatling gun, where it's 2000 on that. I I'm going to keep what we have. The beam laser is not bad. You know what? Nah. You know what? We'll switch. We'll switch. Let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of the... The Gatling gun. So we're going to swap. We're going to... We'll try out the beam laser. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Pretty cool stuff, right? Everybody likes beam weapons. They are fun. Two tech containers up here. Let's see what we end up getting. For our trouble. Uh... This is assuming we don't crash in a horrible way. Light missiles, I don't care. Alright. And another container and some scrap. Take that. And we will be on our way. I believe we've pretty much full cleared the area. Those are fighters, and that's that. So, we look for our teleportation out of here. We get past the obstacle that blocks the way. Inter what? Interceptors are inbound. Really? Is that bad? Maybe we should leave. I don't know Some if that's... Some Okar interceptors just jumped in. I recommend evasive moves. You saying I should run from a fight? It's all the same to me. But we might get to our destination sooner. We'll leave. I don't know how strong uh, the things that come after us are. So I'm totally fine with leaving. And yeah, we have enough time to actually attempt to finish up this first sector at least. And see where that puts us. I gotta say, I'm pretty excited, guys and gals. I'm doing way better than I thought I would. I made it to the jump gate before, but not as well off as I am right now. Oh, that's scary. Well, it's an outlaw scout. I don't know if we can... Oh, they're fighting other people, so maybe we can capitalize upon it. Ooh, there's a mining vessel over there, too. Outlaw scout. Wow, they're getting wrecked. I think we got them. Fuel and some scrap. Alright, where is our enemy? Do we have him? He's dead. Some more fuel, and I think that's it. Those were the enemies that we were faced with. Laser beams, this is all part of a mining uh, thing. That's kind of cool. Some more floating around over here. We can totally go and gather. And a whole bunch of stuff. There's a jump gate over there. Uh, a bunch of light fighters. Some more minor, mineable ore. I'm sure we can do something with this. We got 7, 17, and fully mined at 22. Now those little pods you can break open. I'm not sure that that's necessarily a great idea or a good thing to do. So, just a thing. There's a lot of ore floating around this thing. It's like if we wanted, we wanted to. Now the big thing to remember, guys and gals, the super hyperdrive uh, speedy thing is R, which is also your, you know, in most games it's a reload button. So be careful. I've done that before. That's actually how I died one of the first times. Is I hit R right next to a uh, thing because I was trying to reload my uh, weapons, which you don't have to do, by the way. And I arred myself right into the side of a meteor, and it was not great, or an asteroid. It was quite bad and, well, more than a little bit embarrassing. Okay, and with all of this gone, fully mined 30, I guess we've pretty much done all that we need to do. There's a little bit more ore over here that we can get. I mean, this is a pretty peaceful place, so let's head... Not to the... Oh yeah, there's the jump gate. Let's head over to the jump gate and let's get out of here. I've never actually made the jump to the next place, so I'm pretty excited by this. Do we actually fly through it? I think we do. Yeah, we do. What? Here we are into... Oh, my sensors are in You've there. reached the next sector. Very good. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer more substance to your answers. Uh oh.
What is shooting at me? I see him. He's right in front of me. Why does this vessel appear with a skull? This is to highlight a superior fighter. It will be harder to take down. We'll have to see about that. What else can you tell me about this end of the galaxy? Oh my goodness. Cluster 34, also known as the Beltagrades. A group of systems approximately 1,000 light years from the Sol system. Mapped to precision in the 24th century, but unexplored by colonials until the 30th. Demarcation lines between colonial and native Okar interests are still in dispute. All right, we gotta get out of here. Please don't forget to keep an eye on the stats. You're distracting me. Yep. Oh, it's going bad. It's gone real bad. Oh, we're alive, but at what weird and twisty cost. That was not a pleasant experience. We almost had the guy killed. Now my torpedoes did terrible. They did not do anything at all. They were completely, totally, and utterly useless. What does this do? A shield? It's passive. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the identical thing. Oh, oh god. Oh, I almost crashed. Oh. Alright. I don't know that enemies are chasing me right now. But I'm pretty happy that I got away from certain death with only minimal hull damage on top of everything. Oh, we have our skull friend coming. It looks like he wants round two. Gotcha! Oh gosh! Oh man, he almost exploded in me. Credits. That was value bad by weight. Bad and disturbing. What is an energy injector? I don't know what that is. Hey. Sweet. I don't know what the all that said. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get to read it in time. I'm still like terrified. I don't know what's happening. Oh, ah! Say, so I'm sure there's more enemies coming to kill me. So. I would like to get at least a little bit of uh, room away from... Where did he go? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Okay. Alright, well you are not as super powerful as your friend. Also, you were a drone, so you actually kind of made me super nervous when you're not really that big of a challenge. Drones, apparently, they shoot a lot, lots of laser beams and horrible things like that, but they don't do that much damage, or at least they ha don't seem to. I don't like the fact that our sensors are impaired in this place. It's actually quite off-putting. Now, there are tons of crystals that we can mine out of this place. Um, ooh, this is secondary. What can we do? We can build new. Uh, we can build light missiles. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it, because why not? We don't have anything else right now. We used up everything else that we had. Can we do any hull repairs? Oh, we have some nanobots. We can. There it is. And I don't think any of our other systems really got wrecked at all. Um, no, not really. Maybe we could upgrade these? I don't know. There's still a lot about this game I don't understand yet, guys and gals. But you know what? I am having a blast with this game. I think it is fantastic. I'm super glad I found it. Oh gosh, I hit the C button again. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, super glad I found this game, and, well, it's, like I said, it has been a lot of fun. We used our sensors, which gives us a little bit of an edge. Oh, what's happening? There's a chest there. Oops, that was the wrong button. Alright, we have an outlaw scout that we're going to hit with a missile, and, oh, I thought we annihilated him. There it is. There's the kill. Got some processor scrap. There's a ton of stuff out here. Anyway, folks, I think I'm going to break out the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, in links and various things like that. And until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.